All right, ready to go with live action here from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. Rothwell very patient here early. A lot of confidence in that chin. The king of Kenosha gets caught with that punch. Joe, your thoughts on what we might see here? Remember, OSP packs some serious power behind his kicks. He's got some gigantic thighs. That one hurt. Tags him. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Lands a big right hand early. Beautiful hook. These are some bombs he is throwing. Trying to kick the leg out. Nice punch by Rothwell. All right, check that leg kick, Joe. Lands a punch. Well, he eats a punch to the head there, Joe, and he would be wise to get his head off of that center line. It's almost as if he's moving straight into that punch. And he lands a nice kick. And he's down! Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with Oh, both men exchange. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Rothwell gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Gotta find a way to move those feet. That knee might have landed there. And now he's got that tight clinch. Oh, beautiful knee by the King of Kenosha, Ben Rothwell. The King of Kenosha gets the tight clinch here. Oh, hammer fist here by Rothwell. Guillotine attempt now looks as though he's got the neck. He's in full guard here looking for the guillotine choke. What he needs to do is he needs to wrap his arm around the back of his opponent's head, slide his forearm underneath the chin, then he needs to... Wow! Moves to half guard. Under three minutes now to go on the round. He transitions, now he's got both hooks in. He's got him flat down on his back. Nice left hand. And Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Caught him with a punch. Ooh, blocks the shot. He got tagged there. He landed a couple good shots here. Oh, he has mastered the range here, timing his shots nicely. Inside leg kick is there by the King of Kenosha. King of Kenosha gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Oh, he moved right into the kick there. A kick to the head lands, and he's shown a susceptibility to that in fights prior. You can't lean into those power shots. Let's see if he can circle out and make the adjustments here. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. All right, so there's that first kick to the body, Joe. As advertised, plenty of sting on it. Likely the first of many to come tonight. Seconds and counting here in our opening round. St. Prude gets caught with that punch. Well, you know these leg kicks, Joe, are a big part of his arsenal, but I'm not sure he's been any better with it than he is here tonight. Visibly now, his opponent has started to slow down. Beautiful inside leg kick. OSP gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Well, no issue finding his timing here. Nice series of strikes as he continues to land. Front kick to the face. Well, not wasting any time working on chewing up that lead leg as he lands his first leg kick of the fight. Whoa! Oh, you heard him. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Oh, straight right. He's in big trouble. Nice leg kick. Rothwell's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Oh! Back up. The big right hand. Oh! What a fight we got going on here. Big straight punch. 
Wow. Things just got real interesting. Excellent strike here, lands on target. And here's a devastating punch that results in a knockdown. Ariane Celeste with us tonight. Second round here. At the end of that round, his opponent was clearly hurt. He's going to look to start this round off fast and try to pick up where he left off. Big Ben Rothwell is a massive heavyweight with serious knockout power and an excellent ground game as well. Very nice timing with these shots here. He's keeping his head protected here. Excellent blocking. How about that shin? Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. He's really starting to connect Joe on a lot of these strikes to the midsection. Absolutely. Wow! OSP gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. He's got the clinch. That knee might have landed there. And now he's got the tie clinch. And the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Big knee! Big knee! This could be it! High Whoa. kick! He hurt him! Look at this! Take down! Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Now he's secured side control. Looks like his leg might be hurt here, Joe, limping a little bit. Wow, what a powerful leg kick that was. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, working in some solid leg kicks now. Well, that's not what you're looking for defensively. He moved right into that hook, and his opponent wisely lands it to the body there. He has been increasingly more susceptible to that strike. Let's see if that one gets his attention. He's in half guard. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Yeah, wow. looks a little wobbly on his feet. Oh, he got clipped there. He got hurt. Oh! What a leg kick! So a much different approach from him here in round two. It took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Well, that one should leave a mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by the King of Kenosha. Jab. Nice defense there, huge block. Going out of the body with that hook, well done there by Rothwell. Just over two minutes to go in round two. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by St. Cruz. Well, that'll quiet the storm. Shot blocked by the King of Kenosha. Oh, we heard him again. He heard him. He's in big, big trouble. Oh, he might be out. Nice leg kick. Just missing on the high kick there. Wow! He's getting tagged. Big shots. Rothwell's got the over-under now. He transitions to the tie clinch. Oh, vicious knee to the body. You can tell that shot hurt him bad in the body. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Rothwell's cut is just bleeding like mad. I wouldn't be surprised at this point, Joe, to see the referee call in the doctor. And if he gets a close look at that thing, 
he's probably going to stop this fight. Oh, nice straight punch there by St. Cruz. Well, he just hasn't been efficient with his strikes here tonight. There's another swing and a miss. And at this point, if he can't preserve some stamina moving forward, this is going to end up being an awfully long night. St. Cruz head kick looked like that one was blocked. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Whoa! And just like that, the fight is over. Big roundhouse kick KO for the victory. Oh, absolutely one for the highlight reel right there. A tremendous kick to spell the end of the night for his opponent and for him, I should say, but just caught him flush, full force, beautiful extension on the kick, and the fight was really over as soon as that one made contact. I'm not even sure he was conscious when he hit the canvas. Outstanding performance here tonight. Check out this angle here. Bam! Nighty night. Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight. All right, let's get it inside of Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Of this contest at four minutes, 25 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Otis St. So there he is, the man of the moment. Certainly maximized the showcase here tonight, Joey. Gets a big win by way of the knockout. Certainly kept the judges out of it here tonight. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way, but there will be no wiping the smile off of his face tonight. He will party deep into the night with his friends, his family,